Hi, I'm James, and today with Microsoft making available the official ISOs for Windows 10, I'm taking a look at upgrading a system from Windows 7 to Windows 10 without using Windows Update and instead just using the ISO that they've made available. So as you can see here, we have a system. It is fully up to date bar a Silverlight update here. Um, but other than that, we are not yet being offered the Windows 10 option to install. It hasn't downloaded yet, so it's not being offered to us. So we have the Get Windows 10 dialog here, but we don't have the ability to upgrade yet, as we haven't reserved it and it hasn't downloaded and all the rest. So we're going to close Windows Update. We can see this is a activated version of Windows 7 Service Pack 1. And we have here the ISO from MSDN downloaded this morning. Rather than write this to a USB stick to do the upgrade, we are simply going to extract it and then try and install it in place onto the system. With this now extracted, we can go into the folder and we want to run the setup executable. This is fairly similar to you know what you might have done with Windows 7 or Windows 8. Um, so it should be a fairly familiar process to some. Uh, but what we're going to see is just checking that the install process goes through. We're going to say yes, allow it to download updates. There shouldn't really be any available in the last hour or so but let's allow it to do that so we can just see how it runs through this as with people running through this in the future this may offer some updates to it so we might as well allow it to proceed so now the setup is just beginning to start having checked for updates and um, it did actually restart the setup process and drop it behind the folder window we had there so I'm just going to close that over So now we're into the setup and we just have the standard licensing terms. We're going to accept those. Again, it's now checking for updates. Um, just so uh, to sort of fill in some of the details, this system is a Acer laptop. Um, it previously suffered a failed hard drive, so it's been reinstalled with the original OEM license key. Um, so it's an OEM install, not a retail install. I wouldn't necessarily expect any major differences, but just if anyone is spotting anything, something to consider on that. And hopefully this will progress from checking from updates quite quickly. So now Windows, the installer is just uh, checking over what's installed on the system, making sure everything's ready to proceed, having checked for any updates. The software installed on this system is fairly minimal. We've basically just got um, Office 2010 starter and not a lot else installed on here. So here we need to confirm it's going to change our display language, that's fine. Uh, things like Windows settings and personal files will remain. Now it's just checking there is enough space to carry out the install. That's all fine, so it is going to install Windows 10 Home and keep personal files and apps. We could say change what to keep if we have a look at that, so we can say keep personal files only or nothing so it would effectively do a clean install so if we carry on with this I'm good it's going to go through this again and now with that having checked through again we can begin the install process so if we hit install this will take us to a full screen installer and it's going to work its way through upgrading from Windows 7 to Windows 10 
So with the first stage of installation completed now, Windows is just going to restart the uh, system and this will allow it to carry on the install from here. So now that we can see it's booted into a, sort of a different pre-install environment rather than booting back into the Windows 7 install, it's booting into um, a separate section which will continue the Windows 10 installer here. And now we can see it's copying in the Windows files uh, for Windows 10 and we'll go through installing features and drivers and then configuring settings. So hopefully this shouldn't take too long. Now after that reboot, the system has finished copying in, in files and is moving on to the installing features and drivers stage. Our laptop has now rebooted again and moved on to the configuring settings stage. So this should be one of the final stages before we boot into the Windows 10 desktop having completed our install. So now we are going into the out-of-box experience. We've looked at this on Windows 10 before, but because this is an upgrade installation, things are a little bit different. So we have here, we can select, okay, we are our user here. If we were not the user it has specified, we can select here, and it will give us the option to create a new user. Um, but we want to go in and carry on using the user we were using before. We're going to just use the express settings. This is just telling us a bit about the new apps. So we can go in and choose default apps if we want. Otherwise, it's going to set up the default Windows 10 applications. And with that, settings are being finalized. And this should now bring us to the Windows 10 desktop. And it looks like it's just going to go through and do its application setup thing. And then we should be ready to go. And with that complete, now we're at the Windows 10 desktop. So we can go in to settings and let's see if this has correctly activated. So by going settings, update and security and then activation and we can see that it has automatically activated. So it is identified as a legitimate version of Windows and uh, Windows 10, sorry, um, activated based on our previous product key and we are good to go. I hope you found this video useful. Um, just for reference, all in on this laptop, the process was about an hour and a quarter from start to finish. Um, this will obviously vary being a pretty clean install of Windows. Uh, that will have meant there's not many applications installed which will help with the process. But on the other hand, um, it's only a Pentium 967 based laptop with a very old SSD in it, one of the sort of first gen Intel drives, um, which obviously hinders performance a bit and slow processor. So um, yeah, the time it takes will vary depending on the configuration and the amount of software installed on your machine, but quite a quick and easy process. If you want to see more of what we're doing then be sure to hit the subscribe button we'll have lots more windows 10 videos coming in the sort of near future so if you want to stay in touch with what we do be sure to subscribe and we'll have more videos soon thanks for watching